What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Swift video. In today's video, we're going to learn how to modally present a view or a screen in your Swift UI app. So here is the app I'll put together. We got this button here, pretty conspicuous looking. We can go ahead and tap it and boom, we get this view modally presenting. Now notice you can't actually swipe it away, but we can hit this green button here and dismiss it as you would expect. So. We'll take a look at how to get this working as well as managing the state and binding to allow this to present and be dismissed. I can sit here all day and just tap these buttons. So if that all sounds good, make sure you start by absolutely smashing that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's get into modal presentations in SwiftUI. Let's begin by opening up Xcode and creating a new project here. We're going to stick with the app template under iOS and let's go ahead and give our project a name of full screen cover. We want to make sure our language is set to Swift and both lifecycle and interface here are set to Swift UI. Just like that, go ahead and save the project wherever you'd like. I'll toss it onto my desktop. And first things first, as soon as Xcode decides to stop being slow, we can go ahead and close this right panel. I'm going to change the preview device in the drop down here. Maybe we'll go with the 12 Pro Max. I'll we'll go ahead and hit resume to start loading up our preview on the right hand side over here. So using a full screen cover is pretty simple and that's basically what we're going to use to modally show another uh, view, basically like a view controller for those of you coming from UI kits. But before I go ahead and do that, I grabbed an image here of a sunset that I'm just going to bring into our project. So we have some interesting content to show. So we'll go into our image assets here, right click and create a new uh, image set and I'm just going to go ahead and title it sunsets and you can go ahead and grab this image and just drag it drop it in just like that onto the one X and jump back into your content view and now we can go ahead and expand our uh, Xcode window. So cool. So what do we want? So first things first, we want a way to actually present our modal view. So what I'm going to do is add a button inside of a navigation view with a V stack in it, we're going to add in a button and this button is going to have a action and a label. So go ahead and leave that action empty for a moment. Let's go ahead and give this a title of show modal. We are also going to go ahead and give it a frame with perhaps a, a fixed width and height. Go ahead and give it a width of 200, a height of 50, and then let's also go ahead and maybe give it a background color of color dot pink, and we should start seeing a button in the middle of the UI. I'm also going to go ahead and make it bold and change the foreground color to be white because the blue looks a little weird. So cool, there is our button, and when we tap it, we want to modally present another view. Let me also go ahead and give this a navigation title modifier to get a title of perhaps Swift UI modal. So when we tap on this, we want to hold a state that the modal view is presented. So I'm going to come up here and create a state wrapped property called is presented and by default it's going to be false because basically when our app loads up we don't want it to be presented. So the way we use uh, the popover we're going to say add a modifier of full screen cover to our button here and you can see that it actually takes a is presented and a content. Now this is presented will be a binding from that is presented that we went ahead and created. And the content is basically what kind of view, what content do you want to overlay? So what I'm going to do is instead of putting it right here, we're going to create the overlay view as its own standalone view over here. So we'll say overlay view is of type view and it needs to have a body of type some view like any other Swift UI view. And inside of this guy, we are going to say perhaps a V stack. And in this VStack, I'm going to have an image and it's going to be named Sunset. And this will basically be the image that we brought into our image assets. We're going to make it resizable. I'm also going to set a aspect ratio of perhaps fit on it. And let's see, let's see. We'll also go ahead and add some text below this. I'll go ahead and say 
here is a great sunset to look at and that'll be our text we'll go ahead and bump up the font size so it looks somewhat nice like we made a bit of effort we'll make it 24 and i'll also go ahead and say multi-line text alignment will be centered just like that and i'll push all this jazz to the top with a spacer so let's go ahead and um pop in this view right here inside of the content of our full screen cover and stick with me because we got to do one more thing to allow for the cover to be dismissed. So let's go ahead and hit resume in our preview here and let's see why this is yelling at me. Something is definitely not working. Let's see what I messed up. Looks like everything is actually correct. Sometimes it's just a preview, you know, giving you a hard time. So once that goes away, hit the live preview button and we can go ahead and tap on this button here and we should see that it presents. And actually the reason that it doesn't is because in the button action, we actually need to toggle the state. So we're going to say is presented uh, is going to equal true. You can alternatively also say toggle just like that. It'll achieve the same effect. So go ahead and stop the preview. Go ahead and hit resume so your canvas and preview get their life together and get updated. We can go ahead and hit the live preview. Now when I tap it, you'll see that we get this modally presented. So it's looking pretty good. Now we also want a way to dismiss it and you'll notice that you can't actually swipe to dismiss it, which is um, not great because the user probably doesn't want to be stuck here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to create a button to dismiss it. And what I'll actually do is I'm going to copy this whole thing, this whole button right here. I will toss it right below our actual uh, text there. And I'll also go ahead and add a little bit of padding via a padding modifier right there. And we'll get rid of the stuff in the action because it doesn't exist. Now, this begs the question, first of all, let me change the color here. This begs the question of how do we actually set this is presented to false inside of this view? Well, this is where a binding is going to come in. So we are going to have a binding here, and this is going to be is presented of type bool. Actually, it'll be a binding type boolean just like that and when you actually go ahead and create this view here notice it gives me an error it's because we need to pass in that binding so here we can go ahead and actually pass in the is presented and let's see let's see i think we need to pass it in with a dollar sign just like that and let's see if this gives me a issue looks like it does give me an issue because we need to pass in it pass it in as a binding instead of that so i think we can actually get rid of the dollar sign because it'll be the binding from that i'm not sure if we need the self dot let's see i always screw this up so let's see which one we want expected type binding of type bool all right, so let's see what's going on. This one, actually, we can make a bool because we've already wrapped it as a binding, so it's actually redundant. So here, the error will now say fix, and if I go ahead and fix it, it adds the dollar back, and we're in business. So good note to self, don't double wrap this in binding because the actual property wrapper indicates it's a binding already. So what this lets us do is we're passing in the state to a lower view uh, via the binding and in the button here I can go ahead and say self dot is presented dot toggle which will basically make it false. You can also go ahead and just assign it to false like that. So let's go ahead and resume our preview over here. I'll go ahead and pause the live preview and start it up one more time. Go ahead and tap on this. We have our button. If I tap on it, boom, it disappears. Presents disappears, presents, disappears. You can sit here and do this all day. So this is the easiest way to get modal presentations um, in your SwiftUI apps. It's pretty darn simple. The other thing that I'll mention is you probably want a nice title here so you can actually wrap your entire modal overlay view in a navigation view. And we can go ahead and give this a uh, title of perhaps details. If you go ahead and run this again, hit resume over here in the top right and run this one more time, you'll see that you now have a title here as well for details. So it actually looks like another screen, aka a view, has presented. And you might want to move the dismiss button to a small little maybe close or X uh, bar button item. Basically a toolbar item is what SwiftUI calls it at the top right. But 
we can stick with our uh, our green button here. But before I wrap it up here, don't forget to change your show modal text on the dismiss button to the word dismiss so it's not misleading. And there you have it. That's how you can go ahead and show a view modally in your SwiftUI app. So quick recap, we got a state here. We've got a button. The actual overlay is a full screen cover modifier on the button itself. Takes in a state for is presented, takes in a content, and I think we can get rid of that because it is a trailing closure, just like that. This takes in a separate view. You can put the view right here if you'd like, but just to keep it clean, we've abstracted it out. And this view will take in a binding from the is presented state. So we have the option to go ahead and set it to false, aka dismiss the actual uh, modal from within the overlay itself because it's pretty important. So that's all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video and haven't done so already, don't forget to absolutely destroy that like button down below. Helps out a lot. Leave a comment to let me know if you guys are using SwiftUI. What do you think of it? And definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already for daily Swift and iOS videos. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.